The Little Detective Chapter 1 The Call to Adventure In a cozy little town, there lived a clever young boy named Rishi, known to everyone as the Little Detective. Rishi had a knack for solving mysteries that baffled even the smartest adults. His trusty partner in all these adventures was Sherlock, a blue bear who had been Rishi's loyal companion since he was a toddler. Sherlock was no ordinary bear, he was incredibly smart and always seemed to know just what to do. One sunny afternoon, Rishi and Sherlock decided to enjoy a peaceful picnic in the town park. They spread out a checkered blanket under a large oak tree, unpacked their sandwiches and snacks, and settled down to enjoy the beautiful day. Birds sang sweetly in the branches above, and a gentle breeze rustled the leaves, adding to the idyllic atmosphere. As they were munching on their lunch, a sudden commotion broke the tranquility. A royal messenger, dressed in the king's colors, came rushing towards them. He was out of breath and looked extremely worried. Rishi, Sherlock, he panted, I bring urgent news from the castle. The princess has gone missing, and the king desperately needs your help. Rishi's eyes widened with determination. He quickly packed up the picnic and stood up, ready for action. Don't worry, sir. We'll find her, Rishi assured the messenger. He picked up his special magnifying monocle, a tool that had helped him solve countless mysteries before, and handed it to Sherlock for safekeeping. With their mission clear, Rishi and Sherlock set off towards the old castle, their minds racing with questions. Who could have taken the princess? Why would anyone want to kidnap her? As they hurried through the town and towards the castle, Rishi felt a mix of excitement and resolve. This was going to be their most important case yet, and they were determined to find the missing princess and bring her safely back home. Chapter 2 The Spooky Labyrinths As they arrived at the ancient castle, Rishi and Sherlock were greeted by the king himself, his face etched with worry and desperation. Thank you for coming so quickly, the king said, his voice trembling. The princess has disappeared, and no one knows where she is. The last time anyone saw her, she was wandering the castle's spooky labyrinths. The labyrinths were known to be a treacherous maze of dark, twisting passages that lay deep within the castle. They were filled with secrets and echoes of the past, making them an eerie and daunting place to venture into. But Rishi and Sherlock, armed with their courage and curiosity, were determined to find the princess. The entrance to the labyrinth loomed before them, a large, ancient door, covered in moss and ivy. Taking a deep breath, Rishi pushed it open, and they stepped inside. The air was cool and damp, and shadows seemed to dance on the stone walls as their footsteps echoed through the corridors. Every now and then, a gust of wind would howl through the passages, adding to the spooky atmosphere. Rishi held up his special magnifying monocle, which glowed brightly in the dim light, casting a reassuring glow around them. It was not just any monocle, it had the ability to detect hidden clues and paths, guiding them through the maze. Sherlock walked closely beside him, his keen senses alert for any signs of danger. The corridors seemed to go on forever as they descended down into the labyrinth. But as they advanced toward their objective, Rishi's monocle revealed faint footsteps and obscure symbols on the walls. Their resolve grew stronger the farther they traveled. They were aware that they were drawing nearer to discovering the reality and locating the princess. They moved forward with a strong sense of resolve, prepared to take on any obstacles that could arise in the eerie labyrinths. Chapter 3 Royal Conspiracies Unveiled Deep within the labyrinth, Rishi and Sherlock stumbled upon a hidden chamber. It was concealed behind a large, moss-covered stone that Sherlock had noticed was slightly ajar. With a push, 
the stone creaked open, revealing a dark, narrow passage. At the end of this passage lay a small, dimly lit room filled with dust and cobwebs. Ancient scrolls and secret documents were scattered across a large wooden table, their surfaces covered in mysterious symbols and markings. Rishi's eyes widened as he carefully picked up one of the scrolls. Unrolling it, he began to read, and the sinister plot unfolded before him. The scrolls revealed a royal conspiracy, a scheme hatched by certain members of the court. They planned to kidnap the princess and hold her captive, using her as leverage to force the king to abdicate his throne. The conspirators believed that with the king out of the way, they could take control of the kingdom and rule it for their own gain. As Rishi read through the documents, he meticulously pieced together the puzzle. Each clue brought the story into clearer focus. The names of the conspirators were listed, along with their plans and hiding places within the castle. Sherlock, with his sharp eyes, found additional hidden notes and diagrams, which provided even more details about the plot. Determined to rescue the princess and thwart the conspirators, Rishi and Sherlock followed the trail of clues. The documents indicated that the conspirators had a secret hideout further into the heart of the castle. With each step, the tension grew, but so did their resolve. They moved quietly, aware that any sound could alert the conspirators to their presence. The passages led them deeper into the castle through winding staircases and hidden doorways. Finally, they reached a heavily guarded room. Rishi and Sherlock exchanged a determined glance, ready to face the danger ahead. They knew that rescuing the princess and stopping the conspiracy was within their grasp. With courage and determination, they prepared to confront the conspirators and bring the princess back to safety. Chapter 4. Friendly Spirits and a Happy Reunion In the deepest part of the castle, Rishi and Sherlock encountered a group of friendly spirits who had once served the royal family. These ethereal beings glowed softly in the dim light, their translucent forms floating gracefully above the cold stone floor. They had been watching over the castle for centuries, bound by loyalty to the royal family. When they saw Rishi and Sherlock, they were impressed by the young detective's bravery and intelligence. The spirits, eager to assist, communicated with Rishi and Sherlock through soft whispers and gentle gestures. They revealed a hidden passage that led to a secret chamber where the princess was being held captive. The spirits described the layout of the chamber and the guards stationed outside providing invaluable information that would help Rishi and Sherlock devise a rescue plan. With this newfound knowledge, Rishi quickly formulated a clever strategy. He and Sherlock moved stealthily through the castle, avoiding detection by following the spirit's guidance. The spirits created distractions and used their ghostly presence to mislead the guards, clearing the way for Rishi and Sherlock to reach the secret chamber undetected. Inside the chamber, they found the princess, frightened but unharmed. Rishi and Sherlock acted swiftly, using their wits and the element of surprise to overpower the guards and free the princess. The princess was overjoyed to see her rescuers and thanked them profusely as they made their way back through the castle. Upon their return, the royal conspiracy was exposed, and the kingdom was saved from the treacherous plot. The king, overwhelmed with gratitude, praised Rishi and Sherlock for their bravery and cleverness. The court celebrated the safe return of the princess, and the conspirators were brought to justice. Rishi and Sherlock, now heroes, were honored by the king and the people of the kingdom. They returned home, proud of their accomplishment and ready for their next adventure. The little detective and his blue bear friend had once again proven that with courage, intelligence, and teamwork, no mystery was too great to solve.